By three years of age, most children will be understanding longer instructions and they will understand simple who, what and where questions. They will be able to listen and remember simple stories. And they will play imaginative games that are longer or have more complicated ideas. In terms of their talking, they will generally be very chatty by now and using longer sentences of four to five words. They will use lots of different types of words such as describing words, action words or location words. They will refer to things that have happened in the past and they will ask lots of questions. And finally, you will generally be able to have a proper conversation with them, though they may be difficult to follow at times. Then, in terms of a child's speech production at three years old, they will generally have much clearer speech, although they may still have some errors, such as saying bider instead of spider. And they will often have problems saying the more difficult sounds, such as l, k, g, sh, and so on. They will usually replace these with another sound. Children at three years of age should not be leaving out the beginning or ending sounds in words anymore. People who know them can mostly understand them at this age, around 80% of the time. But remember that strangers or unfamiliar people may struggle to understand them at times. How can you support your three-year-old's communication skills at home? As we've mentioned before, singing nursery rhymes and songs and playing together are some of the most important things that you can do at home. As well as this, share books and talk about the story and characters. Comment on what they are doing and what they look like. Have your child join in with telling the story. Model the correct way of saying things for your child. This is much better than making them say it again. Expand on what your child says. Add a word. This will teach them about how to make short phrases and sentences. Repeat the names of new words over and over. Children need to hear new words many, many times before they will remember and use them themselves. And finally, to help show your child how to listen, stop for a minute and listen out for what you can hear. Talk about it. You can do this at home or when you are out and about with your child.